junior doctors have just returned to work after a second day of all-out strike action in protest at new contracts. A picket line formed outside Lincoln County Hospital today and these people had mixed views on their actions. I support them. I think um, at the end of the day they're being asked to do much more than is reasonably expected. When I want to have a doctor treat me, I want a doctor to be alert, bright and breezy and ready to diagnose whatever's wrong with me. I think it's more politically motivated than anything else. I just said, I mean, the, they're all young people, barely starting the working life, <coughs> yet they're going on strike. I'm obviously a greater age than they are, and I've never been on strike in my life. I've worked long hours, I've been on call, 24 hours a day, so they're not on their own having to work weekends, long hours. And if they didn't like it, why don't they leave? They're on a lucrative gravy train in the NHS. I believe that the doctors are doing the right thing because they're trying to look after the patients even better. And if they've got to work seven days a week, they need to be paid properly for the job. How different was it being in the hospital today that you've just come out? What's it like in there? Well, it's quiet. They deserve everything. They do, and much more. Well, in Lincolnshire, more than 700 outpatient appointments and 18 operations have been postponed because of the action. However, 48% of junior doctors did turn up for their shift today. The Trust Chief Executive Officer, Mark Brassington, says they've been able to cope well with the action. How the plans are going to work out, and you never know if they're going to be able to cope with all the demand. Um, but thankfully, as I said, the, the, the plans have worked well and we've been able to cope with the demand and it's helped that patients have stayed away from A&E departments, particularly the minor issues and, and complaints, which has enabled us to focus on. Well, listening into that is Dr. Christian Rees. He's a, a junior doctor. Thank you for joining us today. Um, some mixed views there from people. What, what would you say to those people? Absolutely. And thank you for having me on. I mean, there are mixed views and we fully appreciate that. I would like to correct a couple of points though in terms of one of your clippets said young people going on strike. A junior doctor can be, you know, 15, 20 years worth of training. These can be people that are 40 years old. Mm. So I need to correct that point. And also this perception that the NHS is a lucrative gravy train. Um, I need to kind of clarify that point as well. Uh, I don't think that's a fair representation of what doctors are actually paid and nurses and healthcare support workers. So you've been on strike for two days now. What do you feel you've achieved from the action? I think it's demonstrated unity among everybody in the NHS, doctors, nurses, porters, healthcare assistants, because this is an assault on public service. This is an assault, as you, you will know, as BBC, you know, a national institution. This is an assault on public service and it's just unified everybody. And, you know, I've set up a social media broadcaster, WhatMed Media, and we were out today live streaming the, the picket. And, you know, to a man, woman and child, well, no ch child, but to every single man and woman that came near us was really, really supportive. There are people out there saying there are other professions, not just doctors, who are having I, to, to yes. work weekends. Of course, it's not just about weekends. It's not just about Saturdays. And that is the rhetoric that the government are trying to put across because they're trying to narrow down the argument on just Saturday pay and weekends when really it is much wider issues in terms of is the NHS being privatised by the back door? That is the question that I would ask. And I'd want people to think about that and research that and, and see what they think. We heard the mixed views earlier. There has been a lot of support, as you mentioned, on the picket line today. Mm. How much longer, though, can, can you keep doing this? Because surely at some point, the, the public are going to get a bit fed up with what's happening. Well, potentially, but at the moment they're showing no signs of that. And I've been doing interviews since November and I've always said, of course, public support may well wane. Um, but we're actually what we're actually seeing is doctors, nurses, teachers, every single public service worker coming together and uniting because this is an assault on public service at the end of the day. And some of the rhetoric last night or yesterday and the, the first live interviews that the Secretary of State for Health has given on this issue, he was saying, you know, doctors get paid more than healthcare assistants and more than other workers. And I just think that's a divide and conquer technique, which is not is not washing with anybody in the NHS. When does it come to a point, though, when a decision does have to be made? I know the, the, the health Does secretary... a decision have to be made, though? Because this is being forced throughout a political expediency. Well, the, the, Jeremy Hunt is saying the government will not be blackmailed into dropping... I don't think the government are being NHS. blackmailed. Uh, it, if we're talking about improving the NHS, I think as doctors, we're really keen to work to improve the NHS. 
Um, and I think it's fairly irresponsible for the Secretary of State for Health to come out and say that he's being blackmailed, because quite frankly, he's not. I just want to talk about the figures as well. I know we mentioned there, 48% of junior doctors did turn up for their shift That's today. That's because doctors love their work and they love caring for patients. And I say good on them. Well done. That we can rotate these shifts, that you don't need a 100% walkout. We can make our point across. We will pop up on radio stations all over the place and TV shows. And we do not need a 100% walkout. We've got a mandate. We've got the public backing us. And that's the most important thing for us. So although that figure's not that, not that high, you're saying yeah, well, that there is still the support? Of course there is, yeah. I mean, if you check out the WhatMed Media live streams that we've been doing um, and that are on WhatMed Media on the page on Facebook, every single interview, you know, it's completely unbiased. Uh, and there's no predetermined narrative. I've been out on the streets, I've been interviewing people, I've been chatting to people. Um, so I've really got my finger on the pulse on this. Are you concerned though if this continues, eventually patient safety could be put at risk? I'm concerned that the NHS could be sold off and if the NHS is sold off, we're gonna to move towards an insurance model in America where people are dying on the streets for healthcare issues. So yes, of course I'm concerned and I'm concerned about those issues. So what what do you do next then? Where, where do you go next? Is more strike action in the pipeline? Well, I'm not sure um, because I'm not a BMA representative. I think it's important to make that clear. Um, let's see. Let's watch and see what the government, how the government react to this. Certainly Jeremy Hunt looked fairly rattled on live interviews on Sky and BBC yesterday. But I think if you ask any junior doctor across the country, all 54,000 of us, to do a live interview, we're more than happy to do it. it so let's like, see what he says. It doesn't look like any, any decision, any compromise is going to be made from, from, from either side anytime soon. Doctors, look, as doctors, we're happy to work with any government, no matter what their political orientation. However, our priority is patient care, and we feel that this government is not listening to thousands of doctors across the country. Christian Reese, thank you very much for popping in. Cheers, Christian thank is you. is a, a junior doctor from Lincoln County Hospital. Uh, I'd like to hear what you think uh, of this today. Uh, second day of strike, junior doctors now returning back to work. You can let me know, 81333. Start your message with the letters LN. Thanks very much. Thank you very Good much. Luck. All the best. Thanks very much. Right, Cheers, thank thank thanks. So much hey, how you doing? You all right? Long time no see, all right? <laughs> Cheers, take care. <laughs> So there we have it. It's raining outside now. Um, we've got Tom coming out, wanted to get out of there fairly quickly because uh, it's a little bit cheeky. So the BBC did their first ever live stream yesterday. Um, I guess that's the first ever live stream of an interview. I'm glad it worked. Um, got to go back to teach some students now. Um, thanks very much for watching. Tom, have you got any comments that you'd like to add? Uh, well. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for all their support. The public have been fantastic today here in Lincoln, um, and we thank you all. Oops. Um, no, I second that. You will see more junior doctors on the radio all over the place. Um, there's 54,000 of us. Keep supporting us. We are fighting for your NHS. We're fighting to provide the best possible health care that we went into medicine to provide. So thanks so much. That was incredibly cheeky. But it's not as cheeky as doing some interviews outside the Department of Health. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share and comment. Take care and I'll see you soon. Thank you.